Welcome back in the kitchen one more time again with Chef Ricardo. We're back in the kitchen one more time, guys. Today we're going to show you how you can use. Basically, if you got some rice left over, which you know you can use to do something, you don't need to chuck it in a bin. So today we're going to show you how you can fry up a nice, lovely vegetable rice with some saltfish and seasoning and some sweet corn and green peas. And I'm gonna show you this recipe and hopefully you will like the recipe. So it's a vegetable fried rice with saltfish. Beautiful, really nice. So enjoy the recipe and get a copy of my cooking book. The book is out, a lot of people have been buying the book, which is brilliant. Thank you so much guys. Hopefully we can sell and get that next one for 2020. Remember I told you that book which is gonna come out for 2020. It's gonna be a brilliant cookbook. So enjoy the recipe then and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much. For watching Chef Ricardo Cooking Program and the team working very hard to give you your recipe every day. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Lovely. So basically, today we're gonna show you how you can make yourself a nice, lovely, selfish fry up rice. If I tell you what I have now, guys, you will understand what I'm talking about. Right over here, I have some selfish, roughly a handful of selfish. Over here, I have roughly a cup of rice. Right here, some sweet corn, carrot, and green peas. Right here, white onion, spring onion, and mixed peppers. And I have a nice, lovely scotch body pepper. Little bit of paprika. And right here, we have some pepper. The only reason why I'm making this kind of recipe, guys, is because I have rice left over and I got saltfish left over. If you got things at your house left over, this is where it come in really handy to you to make something nice like this. This is natural. This is a fantastic recipe. And I want to say this recipe can go for vegetarian. Also, only if you don't eat fish. But it's a beautiful recipe. And I'm going to share this idea with you guys now. Next time, I'm going to show you how to cook all of these together and in the rice. Make a Caesar rice. That one gonna come very soon. So hopefully you will like the recipe and leave your comments. Thank you so much for watching my cooking program. Bye bye. Nice and lovely. So part one. This is part two. Part two you need to have a medium sized frying pan, stir fry pan on the stove. Make it get a little bit warm first. Pop two tablespoon of vegetable oil or olive oil inside of the frying pan. That's the first thing we wanna do after you do your seasoning and your saltfish. The boil of the saltfish, I got a video on a YouTube channel how to cook your saltfish. Or uh, you can soak your saltfish in water for 24 hours and pick it up the next day. Lovely. Second thing, this is part three. Put your seasoning inside of a frying pan. And so I'll take this out for roughly about 45 minutes until it's pre-cooked. So as you can see, inside of my pot I got peppers, spring onion. You can put some thyme if you have fresh thyme inside of it. But this is, I can see everything which I have inside of the pot right here in my frying pan. Then, pour three. Selfish. This is a beautiful recipe, as I can see. Sweet corn and few carrots, put the missing inside of it. That's gonna be part four.
Looking so lovely already, colourful. Nice one. Part five, rice. Make sure your rice is shiny like this. I'm using basmatic rice. You can use any kind of rice you like to use. Give it a stir. Scotch bonnet pepper. You can cut it up or you can leave it all up. When you cut it up, it's gonna be hot. So that's what I get the flavor of it inside of it. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna simply put this is my hot pepper sauce, just a little bit of hot pepper sauce inside of it. Pinch of coarse pepper. Pinch of paprika. Let's start. I want you guys to see exactly what I'm doing right here. This is a lovely fried up rice, salty fried up rice. Really nice with a lot of vegetables inside of it. Goes really well. As you can see, this looking so fantastic, guys. And I'm telling you, it's just lovely and nice. And as you can see, I did not move the camera from the front pan. I make the fry. That's so you guys can see exactly what's going on inside of Chef Ricotta Kitchen. Some people just say, why don't I put soy sauce inside of it? This is a fried up rice with salt, fish and veg. You don't need to put soy sauce. If you want, you can put. But I like it this way, guys, to be honest. And lovely so now as you can see this is finished guys basically what we're gonna do we're gonna shear it out and let you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about now so this is finished roughly nice good 10 minutes medium size eat keep stirring it until it comes fluffy and looking lovely and nice let's shear it out what I'm gonna do basically guys I'm just gonna simply scrape it out inside of a plate I could boil it up and make it looking lovely and nice but I don't want you guys to see the whole color and the texture of, it, of this rice. So basically I'm just going to simply scrape it out like this. Because you only see the loveliness of this rice if, it, if I just simple cup it up. So I want you guys to see exactly what I'm talking about. And that's it, just looking lovely and fantastic. Oh, this is not really ready. So, what we do, basically, I know it's already colorful, but as you can see, looking so lovely and nice. It's just, it's just beautiful, guys. There's nothing else I can say about this more than say this is lovely with a nice glass of lemonade drink enjoy the recipe subscribe to the youtube channel thank you so much for watching the chef recorder cooking program we got a lot more recipe like this coming out guys it's just amazing to be in the kitchen cooking up some good dishes like this enjoy it and look after yourself bye bye mm -hmm.